Y'all, I'm having a pretty kind of rough day. Um, it's a rough day mixed with like an extremely great day, if that makes sense. Like I'm very connected with God and I'm having like a really great relationship with them right now, you know. And like, I'm understanding that it's part of the plan and like things got out of hand or I'm not, I'm not sure, okay. I'm struggling to give language to that stuff. Um, I had to break up with Sarah today, basically, or like, it's just, it's been clear that it needs to happen, I guess. You know, we just kept fighting and I tried taking a break and then like, I just, I just couldn't take all the things that are happening. I don't really want to talk about the relationship. Okay. I have like a lot of love for this girl. I'm not trying to put drama out there. I would like things to be worked out. However, it just doesn't seem like it's going that way. And the weather is perfectly reflecting the mood of the way things are right now. It's raining. It's gloomy. It's cold. People need help and need love right now. And people are being cold. I can't even lie. I, like, I thought this girl, Sarah, like, I had a really negative thought, I'll admit, that I thought that I had a bad thought. What if this reading right now was like someone Sarah set up to come like fight me or something like that because I heard Sarah. I had thoughts like that, dude. Because she's been doing things to like intentionally hurt my feelings. Like saying things and then exactly she started like calling me names and calling me bitch and stuff like that. I'm just like how pathetic and unprofessional and just like exactly you try to say you love me what real love doesn't switch on you like that you know and like I knew I wasn't supposed to be in a relationship for like a year although I let my temptation get the better of me and the instant gratification of exactly all the great feelings and this person understanding me and all the bonds we were having uh not a fan how things are ending and I just didn't see things coming that way because I just loved her so much and you know I have so much love to give and then like I also am having like other issues too you know exactly like where I've been heartbroken many many times so this isn't like um a shock right and I know that like I have never really been single so it's up to me to kind of create that space and to be single and to really work on me and be in a relationship with myself and a lot of these other things are really coming through you know like there was a lot of benefits to the relationship like I realized how clearly of how much of a lesbian I really am you know like I have always just loved women and the sensuality and then when it comes to the whole love making part I will admit there's there's there has to be a very special chemistry there for that to go down you know and like I love the male form right the pieces that males have right and I enjoy babies and like I definitely desire that and exactly I've had that my entire life so it's like <laughs> you know you don't just forget and you just don't start like no longer liking that or whatever and that's not like it's not automatically unprogrammed from your consciousness of your experiences and stuff like that. And then also another thing that's coming up is I never really processed my breakups, you know? I've always just jumped into one relationship after another. I've dated so many people. So many. I have tried so hard to find love. That has been the only reason why, like, I, like, choose to live, to be honest, was for love. Like, I just love so much, and I have so much love to give, and I have so much energy, and just all I want to do is share love. That's it. In truth, my personal truth, my personal journey. I'm just so grateful for all of you that are here. You know, it's really nice to see how many people are really jumping on and that are really coming together. I just feel your love so much. I have so much I need to say to you. I'm just extremely uncomfortable. Right now I feel kind of sick, you know, when I, whenever I go through a bad breakup, I start getting like physically ill, like I'll start purging and like I struggle to eat, like I'm not eating right now. 
I didn't realize like how toxic this relationship really was. Like we both had issues and I should have known why we came together, you know? And now I'm like seeing things for what it really is and multiple dimensional level aspects on what's happening in other unseen worlds between us and things like that basically that are happening exactly the same time. Like time, uh, language ruins things. That's all I can say. I feel only pure love. Literally, I am numbed out to, like, everything else except for love. And I feel kind of sick, though I also feel extremely good. Like, I've learned the shamanic way that, like, when you get sick, you're literally purging and executing and eliminating all of the toxic waste. And I can feel it gathering around my yellow. Man, when you love people, you don't tear people apart. And I have, like, a lot of abusive relationships and, like, a lot... Of like, I know little triggers and warning signs and red flags, you know? And sometimes it takes, like, a month or two to be in the relationship before shit really reveals itself. Because people, they play, man. They play real hard. They show you, oh, look, I'm this person that you want me to be. Here's all these flowers, all this poetry, all these things that you desire. And then, you know, it was just, like, a front to lure you. And it has nothing to do with you actually, you know, I feel yuck, I'm struggling to let all this go, because I still want to hold on to her, you know, I still, like, my body and soul and memory, like, everything remembers the good times, like, the times where she held me at night, and, like, yeah, the first time she brought, like, flowers, like how she was so shy and she couldn't speak like it's kind of my fault for like catching feelings and jumping so impulsively into that kind of relationship (sighs) I'm just slightly disappointed with myself and my regulations and like you could say my learning disability right people want to call autism a learning disability (sighs) I just feel sick I just can't take it I'm tired of projections I'm tired of the humility, I'm tired of falling on my face, I'm tired of being undervalued, I'm tired of not being paid, I'm tired of going hungry, I'm tired of not having an appetite, I'm tired of going unhugged, unloved. I know there's some of you that you, like, you can hear me and you're not doing anything. You can hear the message and you're the one who cares and you want to take action and you hold yourself back. You hold yourself back from your authentic divine blueprint. You were the only person who thought and felt that way, yet you thought you were a commodity. Maybe they told you that. It's not true. You're very different and unique. Everyone is their own special color and we all have to paint. And by painting that, we can show our version of that shade and that expression. It's important for you to be you mirroring is happening around that is the autism thing too you know when we copy what we see to imitate to mask to blend in i just feel extremely sad and i'm attempting to turn this into something great because what's great is that i still have all this love to give and it's just holding space there you know Knowing it's not its place to come out and to be used and be sprinkled down yet. So there is a burden. Also, at times where, you know, the person craves the human experience where we connect with one another and we touch, we kiss, we nuzzle. We cross noses. I love Eskimo kisses. I love having my hair played with. I love bathing one another. I love feeding one another. I love the simplicities of life. I love the gentleness. I just love all of it. It just made me so happy. I desire peace and harmony. I will never wish you harm because you have enough of that that you have created upon yourself. So I am choosing to only send you love and harmony and I hope that you soon choose to resonate with your own authenticity and do as you desire and make yourself happy. 
though also do not become a slave to your own temptation and your material cravings and your ego that gets you inside of your own way. This is where your free will comes into play. God gave you free will. So it is your free will to turn away from God and yourself, the original plan that you had created, that your soul's origination, why you chose to come here to be a part of this planet and this experience, and most of all, what you are going to shine down upon us and what you had planned to be your projections and what your manifestations were. We're purging all of our skins, man. That's what's going on right now. We're shedding all of our skins, and a snake will literally die if it does not shed its skin. So it's very important for us to release. Uh, speaking of release, I wonder if I grabbed that crystal. I don't think I did. Uh, I just have Say Haki with me. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. And I left my purse, which I was going to bring like snacks with me. I rushed out of the house because someone needs a reading. I am a little nervous. I'm starting to feel like this isn't a setup, you know? I'm just, like, insecure, you know? I've been so abused, and, like, I was just so shocked to see this person treat me this way because I just, like, I feel like I loved her so much. And, like, I just feel like I got stabbed in the back or that I got played. And, like, I should have known better because of all the dark ways she was talking about other people and things and her perception and how she tore everything apart. I should have known that that's how she was tearing herself apart and not just me. Uh, that's why she's afraid of being alone because she can't be trusted by herself. That was my thing. That's why I couldn't be alone. I would literally hurt myself. I needed people around me. I needed bright beacons of light because all I saw was the dark and I couldn't escape my own head. Until Zachary came into my life and helped me learn mindfulness and the Tao and Zen and all of those things. I love Zen, and not just the person that I call Zen. I'm talking about why he chose that name. I'm so thankful for all of you who are here. I cannot express my gratitude more. Oh, I keep forgetting myself and making a mess. I need to do the right thing. And I have been messing up because I have been putting my loves first. I have to put me first, and I've never been... Knowing what that is like because my mother is selfless and so am I. And I just can no longer live this life where I am in relationships with people that are strictly in relationships because when they're in a relationship with me, it makes them heal themselves. I can no longer be in healing contract relationships. I cannot, I can only begin to tell you how many relationships in the past that I have had where I knew that the boy was with me because he started to feel better and he was on a path of healing. And then I knew that only by him being in a relationship with me would he listen to me and my instructions on how to heal. So I had to become greater than that, I suppose. And I had to have my own, um, I don't know how to say, okay? Uh, so many things are turning against me. Like, for example, it was completely pouring rain, and I don't know where my umbrella is, which is why I originally said I needed to. I lose everything. I'm so immature. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. There's some other things coming through, man. Some really dark, dark, like, secret truths about myself that, like, have been coming up. And things that I've known and I've admitted, though the truth has come more clean more than ever before do I know my own story. And, man... Do I have a plan? Ugh. And I really hope that the plan, or like, <laughs> I'm attempting to control, okay? I'm attempting to wake up as well. Ugh. All this nervous energy. I'm hoping I'm safe within the divinity. I'm going to park somewhere that recently started towing. And I'm going to park there because it's raining and I don't want to walk in the like all the miles in the rain. And like I know that you're selfish and you want me to be cold and in the rain because you like water. So I need to do my thing and you need to let me be myself. If you really love my artwork, then please pay for it and value what I have to offer while I'm here before I am dead. And you can't 
guide me what you would like to create with me.